What's going on guys, Phil here from Phil's Craft Corner. Hope you're all having a great time. Uh, I'm doing okay actually. Uh, the past couple of weeks have been all right for me. So far this year, I've just been getting my backside kicked every which way possible. My car broke down, my laser tube died. Uh, I then got another laser tube, that tube died. I got a third laser tube, that tube died. And I'm on my fourth laser tube now and Things seems to be going okay, so I've spent the last two weeks catching up on everything, just smashing out the orders that I can get done, and finally today I've been able to make myself a video. And that video is making this anchor. This is another design sent to me by Swastik Design Crafts. I'll stick a link to it down below if you want this file or any of their other files. They sent this file as well and a few others in the past. They designed some really good files, so if you head over to their Etsy page, have a look around, I'm sure there's something that you're going to enjoy and you can pick up. So let's get into it, let's get this made and I'll show you the process of how I make it.
And there we go guys, this is finished, all cut out, all nicely assembled. I enjoyed this one, I do like the simple design of this, it's not too detailed but it's detailed enough to have a nice design. What I didn't show in that video is I cut out this little hook for the bat for hanging it up. Just so I don't need to use one of these things because when you try to put these in you need a screw to hold it in. Uh, this one's just glued into place with no screw which means there's no adjustment left or right. Uh, with this it's like a traditional picture hook with the uh, spikes on there and I've just offset it a little bit with a scrap piece. Uh, just glued them on and it works really well. Just like so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a place for that. It might be around here. Like I say, I want this wall to be filled with designs that I make and craft on my laser. So if you want a design on this wall, uh, if you have an Etsy page or anything like that, then let me know. All my links to my social media will be down below. You can send me a message on there and we can start out doing a design and maybe get you on this wall too. I haven't painted this one because I've got some special idea for this. Maybe I'm, I'm going to do some testing and I'm hoping what I'm thinking is going to work out with this. With some epoxy and I'm hoping to fill in the shapes with different colours and it will show through. Might work, might not. Especially with a solid back it might not work then. Maybe if I didn't have a solid back and I could do it like a stained glass window kind of effect. That would look pretty cool. But I do want to play with laser work and epoxy in the future. I'm still learning epoxy, so it might take a little while. For now, this is just going to stay as it is, just as the plain wood. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a good thumbs up. If you enjoy my content and you like following along with the files that I make and the stuff that I do on my laser, please consider subscribing. It really does help out a lot. Uh, we're about 1,500 subscribers now, which is absolutely amazing. I never thought I'd get that far. So thank you, every single one of you. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.